Elon Musk just revealed the most powerful quantum computer. Master of all trades, master of everything. Ever heard of this saying? This should be the Twitter bio of our real life Iron Man, Elon Musk, here to surprise you. Elon Musk just revealed the most powerful quantum computer. I am thinking of naming him Mr. Musk, the human time machine, as depending on him, the human civilization riding in full throttle towards the fascinating future. This futuristic near quantum supercomputer is going to revolutionize the electric vehicles industry. Wait, what? The EV industry? Stop blaming your ears, you heard that right. Today in this video, we are going to discuss all about the supercomputer dojo that Tesla is developing. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to Elon Musk Planet. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech magnate Elon Musk and his wild endeavors. That being said, let's begin. For several years, Elon Musk has hinted that they were looking on a supercomputer. But what excites us more is the supercomputer and automobile marvels Tesla will be a deadly combination to watch for. Yes, you guessed that right, Elon Musk has added a potentially powerful supercomputer to Tesla's self-driving artificial intelligence system, which he hopes will drive his Teslas to the finish line at full speed without human involvement. That means the car will drive itself. You don't need to handle the steering while driving it. We all know the vision of Elon Musk behind making Tesla self-driving cars. But making a car run on autopilot is going to take much more computing capacity than those that currently exist. So Elon thought, why not implant a supercomputer inside Tesla cars? With that being said, the idea to shape its way to become reality. At Tesla's AI day, the company revealed the introduction of Dojo, its in-house supercomputer. Dojo is a supercomputer in terms of complexity and speed, but it is distinct from other supercomputers in a number of respects. The Dojo D1 processor is at the heart of the architecture, providing incredible bandwidth and computational capabilities. Tesla discovered that existing computer platforms were inadequate for solving their major problem and that is building self-driving technology through the training of huge neural networks. But they also suggested that they would make Dojo available to others working on AI in the near future. You may feel that the world previously has witnessed supercomputers. So why Elon decided to build a new one for Tesla cars? Existing supercomputers have a wider range of applications than Dojo. HPC or high-performance computing are designed for extremely complicated mathematical models of physical issues or designs, such as climates, cosmology, nuclear weapons, and reactors, innovative chemical and material compounds, pharmaceutical research assistance, and cryptology. This may seem efficient, but having human lives totally in the hands of computers is risky so it needs a more distinctive system. That's why Elon started to work on Dojo. There's also significant debate regarding how Dojo is evaluated. The uncontested fastest supercomputer in the world, as per the top 500 list which is published twice a year, is Fugaku, Kobe, Japan which has a proven 442 petaflops. It is widely believed that Fugaku is just getting started and could exceed an exaflop in its current configuration. This is three times faster than the second place contender, Summit, from the Oak Ridge Laboratory in Tennessee, which has a peak speed of 149 petaflops. Dojo would be in the sixth position with 68.75 petaflops, roughly. Ah, I'm being too technical, aren't I? Okay, let's learn the technical terms together. Okay. Petaflops are a unit of measurement for a processor's floating point unit, or FPU. Only the fastest supercomputers run at more than one petaflop. Hence, petaflops are rarely used to assess a single computer's speed. As a result, when estimating the processing capacity of several computers, petaflops are more commonly used. Though petaflops isn't always a reliable estimate of a computer's overall performance, because flops solely measures floating point calculations. There are multiple parameters that we should keep in mind. Coming to the topic, Tesla's head of AI, Andre Karpati, gave a seminar in June 2021 about Tesla's vision for fully self-driving automobiles. He described the feature of their newest and biggest neural network training and testing cluster. They have three clusters in total. The cluster comprises 720 nodes with 8 NVIDIA A100 GPUs apiece, totaling 1.8 eFlops at FP16. It would be the world's fifth most powerful in terms of flops, Karpati said. We have a neural net architecture network and we have a dataset, a 1.5 petabytes dataset that requires a huge amount of computing. So I wanted to give a plug to this insane supercomputer that we are building and using now. 
For us, computer vision is the bread and butter of what we do and what enables autopilot. And for that to work really well, we need to master the data from the fleet and train massive neural nets and experiment a lot. So we invested a lot into the computers. Until now, Tesla's strategy worked. They didn't want to depend on other companies' as processors anymore. But NVIDIA GPUs aren't especially intended to conduct machine learning training, making them somewhat inefficient for the purpose. GPUs were the best alternative until the AI business got large enough that it became lucrative to manufacture dedicated hardware. I suppose you know the fascination of Elon about AI. However, Tesla decided to join the pack and began developing chips, and subsequently, a supercomputer. They sought to develop and build their gear in-house, following the vertical integration philosophy, and thus Project Dojo was created. Now let's talk about the chip. The D1 chip was unveiled during Tesla's AI Day in 2021, and it will power the company's Dojo supercomputer. I won't get too technical, but each processor has a computation capability of 362 teraflops. This works out to 362 trillion floating point operations per second. Think of it as 362 trillion computations per second which is really strong, and Tesla will organize those chips into 25 chips for each training tile. It will link 10 server cabinets by taking 12 tiles and putting them in a cabinet. You'll end up with a system with 120 training tiles, each containing 25 of those chips, bringing Dojo's compute capacity to over one exaflop. The system is expected to be live later this year, and if all goes as planned during their AI day, Dojo will theoretically be the world's most powerful AI training machine. Then there's the in-car supercomputer, which handles inference. When Tesla announced Autopilot Hardware 3.0, it replaced NVIDIA CPUs with its own bespoke chips. It was dubbed the greatest chip in the world by Elon Musk. Take everything he says with a grain of salt since he makes a lot of strong remarks. The Nikkei Asia Review, however, attracted the attention of experts. They dismantled it and discovered that it was six years ahead of the competition at the time. All of this computational power is required by Tesla's boss to power both the inside and outside of his fleet of self-driving automobiles. Tesla's autonomous driving software requires sophisticated processes on the inside to train its self-driving software. It needs large computers on the outside. This is where Dojo will do its tricks. Should we call Dojo the magician of self-driving Teslas? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Each Tesla vehicle has eight surround cameras, each running at 36 frames per second, to offer a 360-degree sight surrounding the vehicle at a range of up to 250 meters. The vehicle's sophisticated driver assistance system, dubbed Autopilot, collects data from all Tesla vehicles on the road and sends it to the car's brains, which analyze the data and make predictions to enhance Autopilot's driving ability. At the same time, Tesla's neural network is analyzing this mountain of data to see if the driving judgments made were correct, or if any data was misread. In the case that the data was misread, it will be regularly cycled through supercomputers to fine-tune its behavior, thereby training the autopilot AI model. Dojo created a sensation in the EV market. No one could think to implant a supercomputer inside a self-driving car unless you are Elon Musk. The vision behind the idea of Dojo is absolutely exemplary. However, we need to wait some more time to experience the magic of Dojo. I am sure you guys are excited too. Just imagine this man Elon Musk is making everything a reality that we have seen only in science fiction movies. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments down below. And do not forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to Elon Musk Planet to learn all the updates about SpaceX, Tesla, and Elon Musk. That's all for the day, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.